I've hit a bit of a wall recently when it comes to recording PS2 footage for my channel here on YouTube and for displaying the PS2 on modern screens. You see, I do have the official Sony component cables that were released and a little adapter that adapts it to HDMI, but the little converter kept putting black lines and other visual glitches in standard def games, so I needed a better solution. It could just be my converter doing it personally, but I wanted a better solution and I decided to pick up the Hyperkin PS1 and PS2 to HDMI cable just to see how well it worked and it actually works pretty well. The caveat with it is that it does not support the progressive scan games in the PS2's library. So for recording, I still have my component to HDMI for my progressive scan games on the PS2. Luckily, there's just a smaller handful of PS2 games that support it, so you're not going to miss out on a huge chunk of the PS2's library that support progressive scan because there's only a small handful that actually do. I still have both ways to do it, so if I'm going to record progressive scan footage from one of the games like, say, God of War or Primal, or one of the other games that have the little secret hidden code for progressive scan, I can still use the component to HDMI adapter. But for the vast majority of PS2 games, this Hyperkin cable is wonderful for me because it displays pretty well. And in fact, I'm going to show you a bunch of random gameplay samples later in this video, just so you can see for yourself. Remember, it's compressed by my video editor and compressed by YouTube further. The Hyperkin cable definitely works better than some of the cheaper ones that I bought. I do know that there is a HDMI cable or HDMI box for the PS2 that runs off of the component ability for the PS2 and I don't know if that one looks better than the Hyperkin cable but the cool thing about the Hyperkin cable is that it allows you to play PS1 games on your PS2 and it plays PS1 games so this means that if you want to use your PS2 for playing PS1 games, then this is a great option. And a lot of people forgot that the PS2 actually enhanced PS1 games. You could turn on texture smoothing, which is basically bilinear filtering, which, you know, smooths out kind of like the N64 minus the fog and blur, but definitely smooths the textures way out from the really pixelated, blocky, gnarly textures that some PS1 games did have back in the day even for the time. For the most part, for the PS1, I use my PS3. If I'm going to record footage, it works great, but PS3 emulation isn't perfect. There are some weird visual glitches and audio glitches in some games, but the main ones that I would show, there aren't. So, and it works great and still looks great and it upscales fantastically. But for those weird games that will not display properly on the PS3, this cable works great for you to run it on the old gray station, PlayStation, or the PS2 and turn on bilinear filtering or fast loading. By the way, have you ever played the original Silent Hill with fast loading on on the PS2. It's hilarious. Harry Mason's voice is totally sped up and you can't even understand about half of what he's saying. Anyway, uh, that's a little bit beside the point. So outside of this small PS1 footage you're watching right now, I'm not going to show you how the original PlayStation looks using this cable because my focus here is the PS2 and the ability, if I need to, play PS1 on PS2. But it does look pretty good for the old gray PlayStation. Uh, and this cable works great for both systems. For the standard death variety games, it definitely improves the clarity and quality a lot. It's not perfect, it's not the sharpest, but after I get done talking here, I'm going to randomly show you a bunch of random gameplay from games I just randomly pulled out, no rhyme or reason, different kinds, some old retro uh, remakes, and those games that everyone says are really hard on specifically capture cards like Eco or Ico or whatever, and a few others in their uh, compilations. So you'll see 2D games, you'll see 3D games, you'll see weird, you know, Okami type games. Oh, I know, I just gave it away. Uh, depending on, I'm letting you see a different variety of each game. And again, compressed through my editor and on YouTube itself. But 
if you like the quality of what you see, I recommend this Hyperkin HDTV cable for the PS1 and PS2 to upscale for sure. Uh, it's going to be a great solution for me right now. Maybe in the future there'll be some magical cord that can support the progressive scan and standard depth and play PS1 games. Uh, that's yet to be seen. I know there's a variety of these different kinds of cables out there, but if you've looked at the Hyperkin one, I spent about 40 bucks on mine. I'm happy with my purchase personally, and for the time being, any PS2 footage you see will come from this Hyperkin cable, unless it's a progressive scan game, and then I'll use my old way of component to HDMI. These cables might work for you even if you're not into recording footage, but you want to upscale your PS2 to modern TVs. I only have a 1080p TV and it's an old, old cheapy one. I don't have a 4K TV so I can't comment. There is a toggle on the box itself where you can change the aspect ratio from 4.3 to 16 by 9. So the games that have widescreen you can upscale to 720p, 16 by 9 widescreen. And for those games that don't have widescreen you can keep in 4.3. So it's a cool feature too. And I like this cable so far I think it's worth the money. Uh, I'll let you see the gameplay footage now and you decide if it looks good enough and maybe you should pick one up too. Three, two, one, start.
is about to explode. Fight! Crack shoot! Wow, they came out with a sneaky surprise. to remember. Fight!
wizard has gained the level. forward shield member. It heats up. Hmm. Intruder!
Ready? Go! Go back to school. Go!
at all the yards he's picking up. No one is going to stop him. And no one did stop him. Several people tried, that's for sure. Fantastic job finding the open lanes. Ball on the 19. They line up with their tight end left. Forward in motion. Warner, on the back, sits in the pocket, throws, touchdown! Nails his man in the end zone for the big score, watch, right by the defender. He zeroed in on his man early and obviously thought the single coverage was worth the risk. With an accurate arm like that, Dan, there wasn't any risk at all. Wilkins lines up for the point after. It's up. The extra point is good. The Rams strike first in the game, seven to zero. Wilkins is back to kick it away.
follow me. I need some assistance. I need some assistance. So, we hear you were near the scene when the incident took place. Yeah, Jesus! Sounded like a war going on! It didn't try to help out then. This is a power cell! The most important precursor artifact you can find! You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer! <laughs> Hey! You found one of my scout flies! I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all! the door while channeling blue eco through your body. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
このまま死ねえ
solids over here. Let's go. Come <laughs> on. 
するのだ Boxall BX220. County all units, 31 in high speed pursuit. Vehicle is a green Boxall BX220. I'm 
wanted to be wild, drop the line and he's gone! Get lost, off, I'm an out, I'm fine. Me and my friends are travelling around in a black van and solving crimes and running from the colonel. Matt, I'm coming in. Stay away from me! Matt, I've a very bad boy. Stay away from me! I've got a poisonous lizard in my boot. He'll kill you in two seconds. Matt, please, we've been through this. You're not well. Bobo is dead. It's time to get back at the medication. Start piecing your life back together while locked up in a painted cell for a very long time. Until you die. Is it that from a candle? Yes, sir. Come on, put on the stretch. Look, it's even got your initials on. Let's swallow this. ended up being a cop. Kill you? I will.